name is Jubin Dana with Dana Legal Services. And one question that I was recently asked by someone who was looking for information on the patent process was, how do you file a patent application? So in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the steps you need to take to file a patent application. We're also gonna to put together real detailed explanations and we'll host a webinar that explains it. But here's how it essentially works. Once your patent application is ready, you need to have four things that you must file. One is the application itself. So it's got the claims, it's got the detailed description, it's got the drawings, and that's part of what you have to have to file. So the patent application itself is the first thing. The second thing is what they call the application data sheet. You have to have an application data sheet, which lists the inventors, provides certain information about the application itself. And it's the tool that the patent office uses to create their system of connecting patents if they're related by family or if you file the continuation or divisional. It also is a way by which the patent office collects certain information from you upfront in terms of publications, in terms of sharing, in terms of the patent prosecution highway, all those things are in this application data sheet. The application data sheet is actually a form that you can download from the patent and trademark office. The website is listed right here, www uspto.gov. And then once you go to that webpage, there's a drop down menu that says patents. You drop that down and there's one that says forms. You go to that and there's the form listed, which is called an application data sheet. So the first thing you need is the patent application itself with the figures uh, and the explanation of the figures and the claims. The second thing you need is the application data sheet. The third thing you need is the oath and declaration. So each inventor of the application, whether it's one person or three or five, must sign an oath and declaration. That's also a form that you can download from the Patent and Trademark Office website. And they must sign that and you must submit that. That's basically a statement that says, this is my invention. I came up with it. I didn't take it from anybody else, et cetera, et cetera. So the third thing you need is the oath and declaration. And finally, the fourth thing you need is to pay the fees. Now, the fees are a little bit tricky because they have multiple parts to them and they have multiple levels depending on whether you're a little company or a big company or an individual, et cetera, et cetera. So the fees themselves are structured into three tiers. The first tier is called undiscounted, which is the most expensive. The second tier is called discounted, which is for smaller entities. And the third tier, which is the lowest cost, is called a micro entity, which is based on an individual's income. So those are the three different tiers. When you file the application, you also need to pay fees which fall into three categories. One is the filing fee, the second is the search fee, and the third is the examination fee. And depending on whether you're undiscounted, a small entity, discounted, or the micro entity, those fees will vary anywhere from $1,800 down to $400. So the totality of the fees is gonna be anywhere from 400 to 1800. So those are the four things you need to do. First, you need to file the application itself, which has the claims, the specification, and the drawings. You need to file an application data sheet, which can be done, uh, again, the form is online. You can get it and fill it out. You need to file an oath and declaration for each inventor. Again, the form is online. And the final thing is you need to pay the fees. Yes, you can pay with a credit card or you can do an electronic funds transfer. Um, most patent attorneys are set up to do this stuff very quickly and automatically. So if you've drafted a patent application and you want to get an attorney or a team to file it for you, some attorneys are willing to do that. We are certainly willing to do that. We just charge you the time for the paralegal to do it um, if we do nothing more than just file it for you. And of course, there's a, a fee associated with doing that. Uh, again, that's it. Four parts. Application itself, application data sheet, the oath and declaration, and pay the fees. I'm Jubin Dana with Dana Legal Services. Give us a call. We'll be happy to help you with any of these questions. Take care.